I got my first breakthrough in business a few days after I borrowed a book from one of my friends. That book was written by Dan Kennedy. I can't even remember its title as I make this video. But that's not where I'm going. To actually develop that idea, I needed a friend. Actually, a few of them. And sometimes later, I was having a discussion with one of my friends. Just a casual discussion but that discussion led me into a better idea about how to grow my business. And a few months after then, I asked a friend to invest in my business and he willingly dropped the biggest amount anybody ever invested in my business. All the stories I'm telling you in this video are useless. I mean, I don't need you to know these stories. I only want you to notice a key word there and that is friend and friends. When I look back at my entrepreneurial life, I don't know any other thing that is as valuable as friends and books. Not even my father is as helpful to my life as my friends and there is something very important I need to tell you about that. You see, one simple secret only smart entrepreneurs know about building a business is that you need to be connected with quality people within and outside your industry. I can't emphasize this enough. How I make a lot of money on Facebook Some times ago, my company created a new product and we were looking for ways to market it. As you probably know, I'm kind of old school. I don't get involved in much trendy stuff because I love to focus on a few things that matter. So I didn't know anything about the Facebook bot. I was planning to market our new business with email marketing but I had to call one of my friends who was a website designer to design the website we needed. As we discussed, he told me about Facebook bot. Hearing that, for the first time, I headed to Google to know more about it and a few weeks later, I was there making thousands of dollars from the Facebook bot. What if my friend had not told me? Well, I would get to know about the Facebook bot when every dog in the world already knows about it and when you know something when every Joe knows it, you're a latecomer who will only eat the leftover. I can tell you several other stories about how simple information from friends end up making me a lot of money and my message will still be the same. You have to make friends and keep friends within and outside your industry. If you want to build a business, a meaningful business. I've seen some people who are trying to build businesses but never build their network. You can't build a business without building a network. Why most people don't have quality friends? Well, it takes time and it's boring. Most people like to do things that are simple and easy. Making and keeping quality people in your life is hard work and it's not exciting. Take for instance, I do travel from my state to another state to go and say hi to my friends. Who on earth does that? Why should you leave your business to travel to another state simply to go and have time with some people? Why don't you pick up your phone and send them some WhatsApp messages? What if you just call them? Well, the internet and phone conversation is very important and you have to do a lot of that but that will never take the place of face-to-face, flesh-to-flesh contact. I love using stories and analogies. So, here is one. Imagine a man who wants to build a skyscraper. What will this man do? First, he will need a whole lot of people with different building expertise. He will need a lot of consultations and advice. In short, no single man alive is capable of building a skyscraper all alone and that skyscraper is your business. It's tough. It's a lot of work. You can't do it all alone so you need to consciously build a wall of quality people around you. Entrepreneurs without entrepreneurial friends. Who do you think is the best friend to an average soldier? Simple. The best friend of an average soldier is a soldier. Who is the best friend of an average scientist? Simple. The best friend of Albert Einstein were other scientists. Who do you think is the best friend of an average accountant? Well, you know the answer. Except when it comes to entrepreneurship. Most entrepreneurs don't have entrepreneurs as friends. The reason for this is very simple. Entrepreneurship is a boring journey. If you're an accountant, you probably work in the same office with other accountants. If you're a medical doctor, you'll probably be in a hospital with other doctors. If you're an entrepreneur, then the gods are against you because it's easier for day and night to cohabit than for two entrepreneurs to be together. Yes, my above analogy is exaggerated but you get the point. Entrepreneurs are usually lone rangers. When you're starting a business, you are on your own. First, other entrepreneurs in your shoes are too busy making mistakes. How can they ever have time to hang with you? Secondly, if you're not rejected by your friends and family members, then you're lucky. But not too lucky because these people oftentimes are employees. 
Yes, you can have them as your friends, but they are not supposed to be your friends. You get the picture I'm painting here. It's easier for everyone else in the world to have friends in their industry except for entrepreneurs because the journey to entrepreneurship is lonely. That's the reason why many entrepreneurs' best friends are employees. Don't get me wrong here. Not everyone can or should be an entrepreneur. But entrepreneurs whose five best friends are employees cannot succeed as an entrepreneur. Because first, you'll be exposed to the opposite ideas and thoughts and belief systems to what you want to believe. Second, you won't have the right support and inspiration you need. Let me explain these two. I have some very good friends who are employees and whenever we meet to talk, we almost always see things differently. The other day, one of my friends who happened to be an employee said that our forefathers were lucky because things were easier in their time. For me, that was the most stupid statement I ever heard from an adult because it's a lie. The opposite is the truth. We are the most fortunate generation to ever live. But I wouldn't go into that today. I mean, my other employee friend thinks that he needed to run away from our country before he could become successful. Since I was 17, I have hated that idea. You get the point here. When your best friends are employees and you're trying to build a company, you're doomed because they will always be pulling you into their world, which isn't the world you've chosen. Their world isn't necessarily a bad one. It's not just the kind of world you want to choose. Yes, it's difficult to make your best friends entrepreneurs because other entrepreneurs like you are crazily busy fighting invisible World War III. But think about it this way. You have chosen to do difficult things and if you have not done that, let me announce to you humbly that choosing to be an entrepreneur is like choosing to fight a war. You have to do any difficult thing that's needed to be successful. And here's one of them. Make sure that your best friends are entrepreneurs. If your best friends are not entrepreneurs, I assure you, you won't succeed because the road is tough to go alone. Every successful entrepreneur knows the secret I just shared with you and now you know. I hope you do something about it so that you'll have the right information and inspiration to fight your battle as an entrepreneur. Talking about inspiration, do you know that we've created a new YouTube channel designed to give you inspirational videos at least three times a week? We call it Hunt TV. Look at the description box to join the Hunt TV. We love you.